Wow, looks like someone's overcompensating. Sick truck, buddy. What kind of gas mileage does this thing get? What? This thing? Yeah. Uh, 13. With or without the uh, with, enhancement with the additions? <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. This water is Good morning, folks. Back here on the water with another fishing mission. Today's fishing mission is gonna be a little bit different. Yesterday, Lost and I took on the hybrids at Lake Lewis, so that was fun. We've driven, I think, like two hours southwest? I don't know where I'm at, really, to Lake Whitney. I'm familiar with this area, just not Lake Whitney in general. I've always fished the Brazos River, which is just that away, I think. I think it's that way, or maybe it's that way, I don't know. But I've fished the Brazos River a ton with Bryce, and I've caught one of my biggest bass ever, that being like an 814, I believe it was. Um, but I've never actually fished the lake above the Brazos. We're rolling deep today. Here with Lawson, here with Rob, you can probably see his truck down there, and then my car is right there. Rob and I's buddy, Steven, came along with too. He's actually the guy that hooks us up with our insurance with State Farm, which is kind of funny. Howdy. Anyway, stay tuned. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I'll catch you guys out in the water. I'm throwing this deal, it's got a little orange in it. I like that. And it's got a little bit like, it's like an Alabama crawl, it's got some blue in it as well. I, I dig that kind of stuff. Oh, there we go. I'm on. That's a decent one. That's a good one. Get in here, buddy. Woo! Dang, first leg Whitney fish, baby. Oh my gosh, that's a nice fish. Not a bad one. We're back in this cut right now. It's, it forks. Rob went on the left side. Uh, Steven and I went on the right side and uh, we're just going down this cut. It's like a really cool lake I, Like I said, I've never fished this place before so it's all new to me I'm trying to figure this place out as is Steven um, But it's like a lot of chunk rock the water clarity is pretty good water levels down by about six feet and uh, Started throwing that little finesse jig right on that point and he crushed it I like the fact that this fish hit it so hard that leads me to believe that if we do cross paths with any fish They're gonna chomp it beautiful fish man. Love it one down many more to go This is the lure that fish came off of. One of my favorite jigs of all time. Just a little finesse DP jig. It's got a crawl on the back. I've trimmed down the skirts. They're a little too bulky on this one, so I just trimmed it a bit, and she's ready to roll. I'm throwing this on a, actually I'm using Rob's rod right now, the Defender. Got some 17 pound fluoro. We just out here, dragging jigs, hoping for a big one to bite. There's some giant fish in here. My buddy Troy, who I fished with just a few days ago, loves this place. He's caught his biggest bass ever out of Lake Whitney. So he gave me some spots. Huge shout out to him for uh, hooking it up. Fatty style with the, uh, the pins and whatever. But along with that, we're gonna try to figure out some other things as well. This cut looks so good. This is the first body he gave us. And it's already produced a nice little fatty. That's a good one. That's a good one. That's a good one, dude. That's a big fish. Coming up. Oh, it's not that big. It's a good one, though. Solid. Solid. <clears throat> that was on a jig, baby. I thought it was like a freaking five. That's what's up, baby. God. Look at that fish. Oh, she's got a dot. I love when these weird fish have like dots on them like that. Second fish of the day. This guy came also on the jig. Looks like he's been caught before, actually. Oh my god, he's he's been caught a few times. That's kind of messed up. Poor dude, he's got a cut. Oh wow, he's, he's seen better days, that's for sure. Probably about a two and a half pounder, second fish. I legitimately thought it was like a five or six. He fought so damn hard. It was a really light bite to pose that last one. A little jig eater, I love it when they're eating on the bottom like that. All right, dude, sorry for the extra hole in the mouth. You're going back though, I'm putting you away. Oh, these fish are pissed off, man. Going back to this cut was definitely the move. Kind of gets me in the swing of things here. Fishing Lake Whitney. Lake Whitney. I also, for today, in case I stumble upon some monster stripers, I'm gonna throw this deal right here. This is just a big old swim bait. Something I'm actually used to fishing. This right here is a, the exact bait that I threw at the Cape Cod Canal 
in uh, Massachusetts for saltwater on stripers, but there's some big stripers here in Lake Whitney. It's like, I guess one of the most well-known striper lakes in all of Texas. I don't know, that's what I've been told at least. So if I do see a few, I'm not gonna hesitate to throw this thing at them because I think that they would just chomp this. We're seeing a lot of hybrids back here and maybe some smaller striper surface. There's definitely no shortage of them in here, but um, for now, I'm gonna try to catch some green bass as yesterday, Lawson and I really hit the the hybrid seem pretty hard. But, 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 with that being said, we see some uh, some big ones. I'm gonna toss that big jointed swim bait at him and hopefully connect with a big fish. That'd be so sick. Dude, that was a big one. I just broke off. I just broke off, that was a good one. Oh, did you really? That was a good fish. Wow. That's how you not do it. Oh, bad knot. Knot, knot came untied. Damn, that was a good fish. Oh my God, that pisses me off. Rookie mistake. It's all right, I got more jigs. We good, we good. Okay. Look at that, it's not even the same head design. They're, they know too. I would quit. I w well, I'm about to, honestly. See, that's why I brought you on the boat is for the- Motivation? Yep, the moral support, thank you. Yeah. That bite was ferocious. Oh my god, what is going on? Is this line just janked? Uh, might be, honestly. Dude, I suck. It's bottom line. I'm running out of these good jigs, too. Do I even, I don't even think I should use this. It's mental. Is that the, well, check the line, what's wrong with the line? Nothing, it feels great. It's not crusty or anything. I think I just need to keep, I, I'm not checking mine, that's the issue. Every time I get hung up, I just go right back in there. I'm not having a good time out here, guys. I am and I'm not. I'm getting bites, I'm getting opportunities, but my follow through is absolute garbage. I don't know if it's this line or if my knots suck or if I suck or if it's just all the above. I hope you guys are disappointed as well. I hope we can share this disappointment together because this is just so brutal. afternoon update for you guys it's 11:08. we've been fishing for a few hours it's been a while it's been a while here in Lake Whitney so far what do I think of this lake I like it a lot it's really cool I'm still in awe as to how like it looks like this I feel like we're in the Grand Canyon on top of the fact that it's got really nice clean clear water which I'm not used to fishing here in Texas we haven't caught every fish in the lake of course we've not caught that many fish today granted but um, we're getting some good bites and I've had some really good opportunities to catch some fish anyway I wanted to turn the camera I'll let you guys know that we're still out here fishing we're still grinding looking for that big Whitney toad but it is a bit of a it's a bit of a grind just jigs seem to be the, the, the winning factor you got just oh, that was going right in my nuts cool all right, we're out of this cut. Gonna go find some some other junk to fish. So Steve and I have gotten to the point in the lake where it literally looks like we're fishing a, a cliff right now. This is just extraordinary. I mean, that is unbelievable. It's like the first place I'd want to go if I was a fish. Some cliff junk looking like this. I'm sure there's a bunch of crawls and a bunch of bait pushed up to this. Let's start heading back. This is no bueno. I can't, I can't even do this wind. Just, I can't. Oh, reverse, reverse, reverse. Coming in hot, coming in hot, coming in hot. There you go, thank you. You can probably tell we gave up. It's getting pretty nasty out here. The wind's ripping pretty hard. And on top of that, the fish have stuck their nose up at us and just said, Go away, go home. From the surface, this probably seems like kind of like a, a bummer day of fishing, but I'm like content. You know, I finally get to say I fish like Whitney. I'm definitely gonna come back here. I know what this lake looks like. I know what to bring for future fishing trips. Um, and I did catch two fish. One of which was probably close to three pounds. So I'm a happy dude. I really wish Steven would have caught a fish, being that he only gets out very rarely. I think this is like his third time out in the water. What's this? Courtesy notice, boat launch fee, pay to get, there was no one there. Please pay. Oh, well, there's, okay. Did Rob get one too? Oh, he got one too. 
Okay, kind of disappointed that Steven didn't connect with one. It's all good, it happens. Fishing's fishing. You guys right now who are watching know all about that. The day is over. And we're about to hit the road. And uh, maybe eat some food, I don't know. What do we, that's always what we do after a day of fishing, is eat some freaking grub. <laughs> no. <laughs> well, might as well just go all in now at this point. Sums up the day that we have had. Nice. Gotta love it. I assume you're leaving. Yeah. Okay. Drive safely. Yeah. Touch my hand. You have a lot of flies in your car. It must stink in here. Ew. What is wrong with you? I'm not touching your hand now. God. All right. Drive safe. See you. Thanks for fishing with us. Uh, quick question, Peric, is your boat supposed to look like this, or? It seems a little, I feel like it's not centered, or wait. Yeah, it's a, it's just, just a bit cattywampus. After a crispy two hour drive from Whitney back to the MTB crib, I'm at home. Did you have fun today? Yeah. Don't lie to me. <laughs> Lost didn't even catch a single fish today, which kind of bums me out, neither did Steve. Rob and I were the only two people that caught fish. We caught them like right in the morning. It was just. Both the same spot. Yeah, it was kind of a grinder. Hey, how's it going? Good to see you. How's it going? You made it. Nice shot. <laughs> Your shoe's not even on. What's that all about? Dude, I've, I've been up for like 24 hours. I'm a mess. Good, because we're waking up bright and early in the morning. Ah, wow. Chris has joined us. Everyone is at the MTV crib other than the people that are supposed to be here. Yay! An update in the day life of what you've been up to the past few days. I haven't seen is this you your in channel? quite some time. Yeah, it's my channel. The beer away? You're 21, right? Yeah. It's fine. Two We're days ago, I woke up at 4 a.m. to drive my girlfriend to the airport and then kind of lived my day, went to bed at 11.30 <laughs> and then woke up this morning, I was going to say yesterday morning, this morning at 4.30 to drive two hours to Madison, Wisconsin, musky fish from 7 a.m. to 4 p.m. <laughs> Drive two hours back to Chicago, get home, shower, eat, and pack in 45 minutes, drive to the airport, and then fly here. Wow. It's Lawson's, basically last night here, this guy right here, this dude, that guy. And he just got here. So Chris is gonna be fishing with me tomorrow and Thursday, and then you're- <laughs> See, look at this, look at this. I'm on, the, I'm on the ultra conditioning game, that's how bad my yours? lips have that's been. Mine. You guys both have your own- We both got our own individual Burt's Bees. Wow. Ultra conditioning, that's where it's at. Only real G's use Burt's Bees. All three are gonna hit it tomorrow, we're gonna steal Perrick's boat. You shot out to Perrick for letting us use your dusty rig. Question. Answer. Why did Perrick freak out on me that I broke his boat? Anyway, we're gonna be waking up bright and freaking early tomorrow morning to uh, fish a small pond. Not too far away, not as far as Whitney, thank God. This goob and that goob, we're gonna be fishing with Mega Goob tomorrow and we're gonna take out the SS Goob. We're gonna goob all over. Yeah, dude, just, <laughs> it's gonna be a goob fest. And we're gonna wreck these Texas bass. Day one was awesome for hybrids, day two sucked, but and then day three is gonna be Liddy McTitty. I am gonna crank out this video right here, and then we are all going to bed. Oh my God, it looks like Aunt Jemima just poured syrup on my lens. Thank you guys for watching yet another video. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't already subscribed. Be sure to like this video and watch the part two for when we wake up in about four hours and crank on some Texas toes. Wait, four hours? Let me repeat myself. I wanna get there at six. Chris, you can sleep in the car. Catch you guys in another episode. As always, folks, keep fishing. Never stop. Right, Chris? Never stop? Never stop. <laughs>